hey what's up guys so welcome to another screencast on open shift so um in this screencast uh, i'm going to show you how to save and restore backups of your applications running in um, in your gear and um, this is useful sometimes if you uh, want to do some maintenance and want to or just for backup sake or you want to create a backup of your already running application and you want to run it uh, maybe during a low traffic um period so you can do that so uh, we're going to use the RAC command tool uh, where we have the uh, save snapshot and the restore snapshot command and uh, so um, before we start I'm going to create a backup uh, directory so all right so in the backup directory we're going to use the RAC um, save uh, snapshot command and if you're wondering um, the documentation for this you can always type the help command and you can get all the information you need so for instance you can say dash f uh, local part to save tab or file uh, that's if you want to specify a different file um, for instance mm, okay so you can um, also save it as a deployable um, application uh, what this means is you can um, kind of uh, deploy it uh, using the rc deploy command or you can put a full name to the ssh executable with additional options or you can specify the name of the app and the name of the um, the namespace actually so if you have if a user and want to back up an application that has that is part of a different namespace so you should feel free to do that all right so um that being said um let's go ahead and use that so rc um save all right so snapshot so we're going to specify the name of the application so we want to save snapshot of our php application uh it's going to be for the OpenShift user. So in this case, uh, if we've not specified the dash F option, here we can give it a name uh, if you want, but we can go ahead and allow it to use the default options or values. Okay. So you can see here that it's pulling down a snapshot of application PHP uh, app to php.tata.gz. Right, so uh, depending on the size of the application, also uh, it might take a while to do to kind of pull down everything. Uh, but in this case, um, you should have a pretty standard application. So um, you can see that it has uh, kind of saved the backup here for us. So if I do an ls, um, you can go ahead and store this in your backup if you will. Uh, so right now, I don't have um, the capability to kind of open um, files with this, uh, but you know, you understand what that means. So let's say for some reason your application um, is corrupt. Uh, you can also always go ahead and restore the application back to um, you know a workable state, for instance. So you know basically that's how it works. So for instance, I can uh, I can still use the RC. So let's check the RC restore uh, snapshot command and you can see that it has similar spec files local part to restore tab all so if you have a you can always specify the dash f option to specify the name of the file to um, to restore so but in this case um we're going to use the ph uh, the rec uh, restore snapshot uh, command and we're going to specify the name of the application which is php app and in this case just to show you what that means going to specify the name of the application here and the user for the application all right so so we're trying to restore it back so you can see restoring from snapshot to application php app all right so also depending on the speed of your um you know the size of your application and and all that it might take some time to restore all the backup and what it's doing right now it's stopping the cartridge stopping the application um the gear and of course um restoring it uh, so that it stops the gear from accepting connections until it has restored the your backup so in this case it has restored it successfully and you know application has been um, restored so um hopefully you've uh, you, you can see how easy it is to create backups using the um the rc console or the command and um how to kind of um create one backup yourself all right so um if you have any comments suggestions uh please uh don't forget to mention it in the comments form below and um i hope to get back to it and i uh, hope you enjoyed this one as well so um have a nice time